In the automotive world, some manufacturers don't like to play by the rules. The result of that are vehicles that stand out from the crowd for their unique features and character. Today we will talk about the 2024 Honda Ridgeline and what are the truck's biggest pros and cons. Let's start with the good things. Number 3. Superior Ride Quality While modern SUVs can trace their bloodline from hardcore, purpose-built off-roaders, the Ridgeline can trace its from classic pickup trucks. We mean the chassis on frame variety, as all classic off-roaders and pickup trucks had similar construction. Yet, times had changed, and although most of the large pickups still use the same time-proven layout, the Ridgeline doesn't. This means that it does not have a separate ladder frame with chassis mounted on top and utilizes a more modern design called a unibody. So if you consider yourself a true pickup truck aficionado, you might think that the Honda Ridgeline isn't a truck at all. It's more an SUV with a cargo bed welded onto it, and you would be 100% right. Is this a good or bad thing? Well, if the question is whether it is worthy to be called a true pickup truck, it's up to you to decide. All we can tell is that such construction sure has its fair share of benefits, especially if compared to the old school design. One of the major ones is almost unparalleled driving comfort and handling. The current Gen Ridgeline hit the showrooms in 2017, and a lot of time has passed since, yet there are little to no rivals that can compete with this midsize pickup in terms of handling. The driving experience is car-like. Considering the fact that this is more of a car and not a truck, this shouldn't be too surprising. Due to increased rigidity of the unibody chassis, the suspension can perform its mechanical magic shielding the cabin from the road. Number 2. Engine is old, but gold Another benefit of the unibody construction is weight reduction. Instead of having two large and heavy lumps of steel for frame and chassis, there's only one in the ridgeline. Although it's not a drastic amount of weight saving, the diet benefits the efficiency. Less weight allows the engine to breathe more freely and have better fuel efficiency. Of course, the engine couldn't be bothered with the weight because it's one of the nicer power units in the mid-sized truck market. A naturally aspirated 3.5-liter V6 engine powers the 2024 Ridgeline. When gas is applied, the unit turns out 280 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque. Despite being almost a 7-year-old truck, power-wise, the Ridgeline is on par with more modern counterparts. While we wouldn't expect anything less from Honda, probably the largest manufacturer of internal combustion engines in the world. And don't forget the trademark sound an NAV6 makes. Some drivers even prefer this high-pitched metallic sound, even over a classic American V8. The fuel efficiency isn't anything to lose your cool about. Keep in mind that this truck is not the freshest one on the market and does not have all the high-tech, trendy hybrid technologies. Considering this, the fuel consumption of the Ridgeline is a reasonable 18 miles per gallon city and 24 highway. There is an expected upgrade for the transmission for the 2024 model year. Although the current 9-speed is considered good enough, one extra gear and a 10-speed surely would help to bring those fuel consumption numbers into the current decade. Number 1. Premium Interior Looks like we can't stop praising the benefits of the Ridgeline's unibody construction enough. And here is another big one. Cabin Space Step inside the spacious cabin and the 2024 Honda Ridgeline will make you forget it is only a mid-sized truck. In a traditional design, the frame rails rob a massive amount of space from the passenger compartment. And in this case, we can clearly see the benefit of modern design and chassis architecture. No major redesign is planned for the 2024 model year. This is not a huge drawback as the interior design is reminiscent of all current Honda models. This means you get quality materials, good build quality, and most of the toys a modern vehicle should have. Of course, the infotainment system is about as fresh as a 7-year-old iPhone, and that may be a deal-breaker for you if you are into the latest tech. Talk about deal-breakers, here are some that might make you reconsider. Number 4. Cargo Capabilities Not great, not terrible. With all the talk about the Ridgeline not being a true pickup, let's not forget that it actually is. Bed size, cargo capacity, and towing are the traits many customers are into this type of vehicle for. Yes. Even these days, some people buy pickups for moving stuff around and not for showing off. First, let's start off with the numbers. The cargo capacity is 1,500 pounds. To put all these pounds into, you have a 5.3 feet long bed to play with. On top of that, or more precisely, behind that, you can hook up a 5,000 pound trailer. How do these numbers compare to the rivals? Average is a word that comes to mind. While not class leading, these numbers are nothing to be ashamed of. 
especially remembering that a unibody design is not the best for cargo handling and is more intended for comfort and drivability. So, is it a con or a pro? Well, in this case, probably neither, as the 2024 Honda Ridgeline is a well-rounded general-purpose mid-size pickup that goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the competition. Another point to consider is the fact that the Ridgeline has only one option for cab and bed to offer. Most of the competition have multiple bed and cab configurations. But hey, keeping in mind the non-existent popularity of the Ridgeline as a contractor's work truck, the fact that it has only one cab bed option won't spoil the fun for the average buyer. Number 3. Fun Limiters Previously, we discussed that the modern construction, great handling and a powerful V6 engine make the 2024 Ridgeline a blast to drive. It seems like the engineers at Honda do not want you to have too much fun. It is the only exception why they made the safety system so annoyingly intrusive. The safety systems are plentiful in the 2024 Honda Ridgeline. It has everything a modern vehicle should offer like forward collision warning, automatic emergency braking, lane departure warning, blind spot monitoring and others. And if this makes the Ridgeline one of the safest mid-sized pickup trucks in the market with a great score from the NHTSA, the intrusive nature of those systems can sometimes kill all the driving joy. There are times when the driver has a feeling that software engineers took inspiration from an easily startling horse while programming the algorithms of the safety systems. Number 2. Asphalt Cruiser Remember how we praised the unibody design just earlier in the video? Well, not everything is as good as it looks from the first glance. While offering a very good on-road performance, sadly, when the road ends, so does the performance. The decision to use a unibody construction for a pickup truck was a bold one, and when this generation's Ridgeline was first revealed, some jaws were dropped. Yet now we know that the off-road capabilities of this truck were not seriously considered when undergoing the design and construction phase. Highlighted by the fact that the manufacturer did not even try to implement any off-road tech into the vehicle. In 2024, nothing much changes. Although the Ridgeline has a four-wheel drive system, that is about all it has to offer in terms of off-roading. Lately, the 4x4 segment saw a resurgence of purpose-built off-roaders. Popular many decades ago, mainly due to the fact that there were no alternatives, now these rugged vehicles are on the rise again. Catering to the likes of travelers, campers, and extreme sport enthusiasts, this new breed of 4x4s is more capable than ever before. We have the Bronco, the Raptor, the TRX, and several other mean and aggressive names joining the dust and mud party. Yet, the 2024 Honda Ridgeline can't compete with any of them. Main reason is the lack of intended off-roading toys. The Ridgeline does not have a low-range transfer box, no skid plates, no beef-up off-road suspension option, not even a winch. And we are not talking about stock. There aren't even any options customers could choose. It looks like Honda's engineers and designers focused so hard to make the Ridgeline as car-like as possible that they forgot that people tend to drive their trucks off-road. Or maybe they knew exactly what they were doing. Maybe they decided not to make the Ridgeline a jack-of-all-trades and focused on making it as good as possible for the conditions most of the drivers use the vehicles on most of the time on the road. Either way, the subpar off-road performance of the Ridgeline is one of the largest weak points of this pickup truck. Number 1. Old and in need of fresh tech so far, it is clear that the Honda Ridgeline is a very capable mid-sized pickup truck. For the 2024 model year, not much will change. This truck started life as a 2017 model year, and although still perfectly acceptable, a brand new generation is on the way. One of the main reasons the Ridgeline is in a need for a redesign is its lack of modern drivetrain. These days, most manufacturers try to please the buyers with all the latest and greatest eco-toys and hybrid options. Even full EV pickups are on the market already. In this crowd, the Ridgeline looks like that guy who still refuses to use a smartphone and claims that buttons are better. If the next-gen Ridgeline will get a high-performance hybrid power unit to match its state-of-the-art chassis and suspension, no doubt that it will once again be on top of the list for best mid-sized pickup trucks. Until then, the 2024 Honda Ridgeline remains a completely capable alternative to traditional body-on-frame competitors. You will be able to pick up yours in late 2023 or early 2024. Prices start around $40,000.